I wanted to very quickly apologize for the background noise. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on in my house right now. It's fine, I'm fine. I'm pre-recording because I'm in the UK when you're watching this. I actually am getting to the UK like right now. Um, so hey, <laughs> how's it going? I'm in the UK and welcome back to Fixer Uppers. And today we're doing a house called Hamptons Horror. Uh, it's by Jack on the gallery. It claims to be Jack Delange. It's my, my pal, my Twitch mod, my pal. You know, it doesn't matter. He built this house for me and it claims to be a starter. However, that is definitely a lie, Jack. Um, this house is 105,000 simoleons, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, um, and it's cute. I actually, this one inside, not gonna lie, I was very impressed. Um, not that I had low expectations, Jack. It's just that, like, I don't know. I just kind of was like, oh, a fixer upper and then because this is okay this is a this is unrelated but sometimes when i have people that i know build houses like this i'm like oh yay my friend built me a fixer upper and then it's not good this has happened like twice don't worry and they know they're not good so i was kind of like oh a fixer upper from jack great but it's actually really good so shout out to him for this um i was like very very impressed um and so i just here's the outside again when you walk up you get the classic like everything's broken it's overgrown we're probably gonna die oh do not enter and then you enter and the inside of this house is so well decorated i want to play in like the original version it's one of those things where i feel like my renovation is worse than the original you know what i mean not that, like this is obviously not it's it's a ugly house because it's looking like this right like there's holes in the floor and stuff but it's so much better than mine. Oh my God. <laughs> it's fine, I'm fine, it's fine, I'm fine. Anyway, so here's the living room. Um, when you walk in, look at like all the details to the things on the door and just, it's so cool. And like all these, the bird feathers and stuff, the spider webs. I just, it's, I'm very impressed. Okay, so here's the living room. Love this. Um, and then when you walk into the kitchen, you find this. We've got like the mismatched bar stools. We've got like the pots in the sink. It's just, it's so detailed. I'm so, pr I'm so proud of Jack, you guys. Look at this house. And there's like this, all this junk. I don't know. I, he just, he did a really good job. Okay. Um, and well, this wall. <laughs> nice see the thing is these look great but i have to delete them all individually and that's not so fun just saying with all the, the plants um nice bathroom in here that actually has like a broken down wall into the next bathroom um so really cute it has the same thing going on with like i love when they do this when they have oh my game didn't start playing oh it did when they put like the fountains coming out of the faucet so it looks like they're broken and they're just like water spewing out of them it's really clever um and here's the master bedroom oh my god that's messier than i remembered it being <laughs> When you walk in, there's just a lot of stuff going on in here. Oh my goodness. Um, it's just, they're so detailed. I'm so impressed, you guys. Look at my pals doing cool things. And then in here's the kids' room. Um, or possibly like garage thing. I'm not entirely sure because there's a fridge in here. And a stove. I don't know what the deal is, but it's cute. So I think with that being said, though, I'm going to go ahead and jump right on into the renovation. Uh, so let's let's do that. I that's not how I usually do that. Usually I'll just jump in, but I I don't know why. Um, you know what? Let's go. Okay, so we are back and we are fixer uppering this house, you guys. Today, uh, I have a confession. Okay, here's I shouldn't expose myself for this, but I'm going to. I haven't actually built this yet. I'm kind of just winging a voiceover before I build the house because ready for it? It's 1:15 a.m. I just got back from seeing Book of Mormon and I'm pre-recording for my trip to the UK. And so, oh my, I'm going to the UK on Tuesday. Who? So when you're seeing this, I'm in the UK, which is cool, um, but it's 1 a.m. I'm pre-recording and I didn't have time to build something, but I have time to record the voiceover right now. And so I'm like, I'm also kind of, kind of, I'm, okay, back up. Let's give context. I'm on this like weird Book of Mormon high right now. And I wanted to just document this experience for myself because I'm, who? Okay, I'll explain. So. I, in case you didn't know, <laughs> I have kind of a really giant obsession with musicals, like to a point of near embarrassment because people are like, oh, you like musicals, that's cute, like me too, I love Hamilton, and I'm like, no, but like, you don't understand <laughs> because I, I don't just like musicals, like I, that's all, I listen to exclusively musicals. If you see me on Spotify, like you can follow me on there and like see what I listen to and stuff. I listen to exclusively, not kidding, One Direction and musicals. It's really embarrassing. My Spotify 2017 wrapped was literally only One Direction and musicals. It's not a good thing. Maybe it's a good, I don't know, but it's embarrassing, okay? That's all that matters here. And so tonight I saw Book of Mormon for the first time live because I've been listening to that soundtrack for like, oh my God, years. 
like I love Book of Mormon so much. It's such a good, good musical. Um, it's not family appropriate. So if maybe you're like not into swearing and stuff, probably not for you. Um, but it's just, it's a really good musical and I've loved it for a long time and I feel like I got a chance to see it tonight. And so I just, okay, for context, I cried before I even got there, like tears of joy. Like I was in the car listening to the musical again before, like, before we showed up crying already about the thought of getting to see it like I care that much I think this is what other people feel like about celebrities like I think this is how someone else might feel about getting to like meet One Direction and go to their concert but like I don't have that same attachment I just like their music a lot but like with musicals I cried so much today but like tears of joy because it was such a good experience for me so like picture this in the car on the way there crying because I'm so excited. When I get there, crying, because I'm so excited. And then I start watching the show. And the thing is, like, the first half of Book of Mormon is very, like, not, it's not sad. Like, there's no reason to cry in the first three songs, okay? Because they're all very, like, whoa, fun times, Mormons, you know? And <laughs> I think that you guys should go listen to the first song, at least, at the very least. It's not inappropriate at all. Um, it says, I think there's maybe, like, one or two, like, questionable words but like it depends on your definition of questionable. It's like if you're like a very anti-swearing, maybe not for you, but like listen to, it's called Hello. Um, and just watch, listen to that, okay? Cause then you'll have context for this. That song is not like a tear jerking song. It's a really funny, like jokey, like we're Mormons, ding dong, hello, wanna be a Mormon too, like song, right? I started sobbing in the theater today, okay? Like, during that song. Just like the, because they walked out on stage, it started playing, and then I just got so overwhelmed with excitement that I just started crying. And so I was just sitting there <laughs> listening to them sing about doorbells and crying because I was so excited about being there. And then like, so the, the whole like, the entire show I was sobbing, but because, not because it was a sad show, but because I'm such a nerd who just loves it so much that I was just crying the whole time because I was so excited to get to see it live. And then watch the whole thing, great time. The thing is, because like, after hearing the musical so many times, there's a lot of things that aren't on the soundtrack that are in the show. So like seeing that was really cool and like it all makes, I don't know, it's just, it's coming together and it's just, it's really cool, okay, I care a lot about it. And then in the car on the way back, like I got into the car and I started like, like violently sobbing, which sounds so bad, but like, like happy violently sobbing, you know? And my mom was like, wait, you're actually crying right now. And I was like, yeah, I'm actually crying right now. Oh my God. Cause I was so excited about the show. And I feel like I just, I don't know. I, I don't really have many, like, it wasn't even a fangirl experience. Cause it wasn't like, oh my God, the actor. I was just like, fangirling about the fact that I got to see it live because it's one of those things where I never thought I would get to see it live and then I did and it was it was a lot <laughs> in the best way and so tonight was really cool for me um and so I wanted to record this voiceover and like document that experience because I just I want to be able to listen to this back and like hear my own re I'm gonna cry again because I just oh my god it's so good you guys I I can't even explain I don't really know why I had such like a, like a violently sobbing kind of reaction to it because like when I saw Hamilton, it was probably half as violent <laughs> afterwards. And that was a big deal for me to see Hamilton. Obviously I love that musical a lot, but like I think Book of Mormon is one of my longest running obsessions. And so maybe that's why I'm not sure, but like I was sobbing during the first three songs. And if you know those songs, it's Hello and then Two by Two and then You and Me, Mostly Me, um, which are all very, just, they're not like sad songs that are like, oh, wow, my heart is so moved, I'm gonna cry. They're like, they're just funny songs, but I was sobbing because I cared so much about them. And this woman next to me, first of all, this is Shade, she kept looking at her phone. I don't appreciate that, okay? You can go, because the thing is, it's like probably an hour until intermission. And then you have 15 minutes to be on your phone and then it's an hour again. Like you can go an hour without being on your phone. In this like big theater, dark, no one's on their phone. You're distracting everyone around you. It's very rude. So I was really annoyed at her for that. But like, and also I was crying. She's probably like, what's wrong with this girl who's crying next to me? Cause like I was 
like during the show, like sobbing, like having to wipe away tears from my face because it was like, I was crying. And not just like, oh, my eyes are watering, but like I was crying. I had to wipe away tears. It was a disaster. I mean, it wasn't a disaster, but it was funny. I mean, it's funny now because I just, I was so excited, you guys. Uh, I'm, see, my nerd is showing right now. It's embarrassing, but that's okay. Um, anyway, so this woman in her phone, just a pro tip, don't be that guy because there are people like me who, the thing is like, I know she didn't care as much as I did and that's fine, but like, I was there because I was prepared to like violently sob in the car afterwards because I, I cared so much and like she didn't care at all and like that kind of sucked. This happened at Hamilton too where I had this like middle-aged woman who was with a friend at the show together next to me and like they were just there because it's kind of a, like a big show it's like oh the hype and so they went and then they were complaining about it the whole time and then this one was on her phone the whole time and it's just it kind of sucks because like why are you ruining this for me this is important to me okay um but i mean she can't ruin anything for me i care i still had a good time <laughs> i can deal with the phone situation i still cried the entire time it just they did such a good job oh my god huh, i'm fine i'm fine still kind of want to cry but like my mom was I think she didn't realize how I don't know because she was like mom likes it likes it a lot too uh, but she was like laugh out loud kind of cry like cry laughing I was like sobbing you know <laughs> um I just I love that musical so much you guys and I didn't expect to have that much of like a physical like reaction to it but um I it was a good experience it was a really good experience and I wanted to talk about it so there's that I feel like because I never went, I don't go to concerts really because like <laughs> I've got some anxiety issues and so like the thought of going to a concert, because the, there's, a, I feel like there's a difference, oh well, this is my own, I've never been to a concert, I went to one when I was in fourth grade, so like I have a very skewed perspective of, of them, right, so I don't really know, but like I picture concerts to be like really loud, crowded, like jumpy people pushing and that's my worst nightmare, um, I don't do crowds well at all, um, so <laughs> concerts not my forte musicals however <laughs> right up my alley so I feel like I'm having the reaction that I think most of my friends would have to like a really good concert and like getting to meet the person or like whatever I feel like this is a normal reaction but maybe not to musicals so I feel like I can relate to people better now right because I have this this is my obsession <laughs> like I don't know about you guys but like I just I musicals are my concerts it's the same thing but like my roommates go to concerts and I'm like oh yikes ah no because I, I can't I went to when I was in fourth grade so I was nine my friend won ticket or her mom won tickets on the radio to the Jonas Brothers <laughs> and I went to that concert and that's my only concert I've ever been to in my entire life I've been to lots of musicals and stuff because I like go to shows all the time but I don't go to concert concerts, you know? And so I can't, I don't have a really good comparison for the two, but I feel like musicals are a lot different. <laughs> so I, um, what's my point right now? It's one, it's 1.30 in the morning. I don't have a point. My point is that I had a really good day today and that I cried a lot. <laughs> and um, it just, it was, a, it was a good experience. And I think that you all should give Book of Mormon. It's not, it's not a musical about, religion if you're like oh yikes book of mormon ah i mean it is about religion but it's not like a like a mormon musical it, it kind of mocks it so maybe if you're if that's not your thing like either side of that maybe you shouldn't listen to it oh no <laughs> it's it's kind of it's kind of controversial in that sense but it's really good it's so good please i just give her a chance please i cried a lot today because of her <laughs> i keep calling it a her i need to stop doing that um, I'm embarrassing myself. Also, again, haven't built anything for this yet, so I don't know how long I should go on for. I'm kind of feeling like it's gonna be a short one, right? Like, I'm gonna do a short fix rubber for this because, like, let's be real, I don't have time for a big one, um, because I have to go to the UK, so I probably should end this voice over here, but I'm not, I didn't build anything yet. I'm recording this in front, I'm, I'm looking at a black screen right now on my computer, so um, riveting content, but you guys, thank you for watching the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I'll see videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody.
Man, I just, I love Book of Mormon so much. I can't, I'm gushing again. I just, you guys, I can't explain how wild and crazy and good of an experience that was. I tried my best. It's just, it's 1 a.m. though, so I don't think I got the point across very well, but I tried.